Welcome to section 10, Implementing Identity Synchronization. For the first video, we are going to force the synchronization. So, what are the four synchronization requirements? First thing, Active Directory Connect can take up to 30 minutes for the sync, and we cannot wait that long. Best option is to use force synchronization with PowerShell. So every change and every upgrade you did on-prem AD will be synchronized very fast and reliable with Office 365 or Microsoft 365. But the following are the requirements. First, you need to run the PowerShell as an administrator. And second one, you need to run it on the machine that you have an Azure AD Connect installed. So switch to your domain controller that has Azure AD Connect installed. I am back on the server that has Azure AD Connect installed. That was the same server that we did on the last video. I will now start the PowerShell as the administrator. So with the right click and run as administrator. So you run the next command, import module AD sync, type enter. Now run the command to start the cycle. But first I'm going to clear the screen. The command for starting the cycle is start AD sync sync cycle policy delta. The policy delta switch means it is used so that only the updates are synchronized. That means only the new things that I did, configured or entered as new. So I will type enter and you can see here result is success. So I managed to update all of my changes to the tenant from the on-premises system. Sync types. There are two sync types. The first one, we did it already with a Delta type, which imports to all connectors, Delta sync on all connectors and exports on all connectors. The second one is the policy type initial, which is a full sync. It's adding more objects or attributes to be imported to the source directory changes to the sync rules and changes to filtering. So that means that everything with the initial option is synchronized to the tenant. This was all for the force synchronization. 